Testing, testing, one, two, three. We are live. We are live. We are live. If you can hear my voice, please put your aliens in the chat. And y'all know the drill. We will get started in just a moment. Get ready, because you're about to be an ATL. That's not being a blogger. More than a blogger. That's not being a blogger. You are more than a blogger. I am more than a blogger. That's not being a blogger. I'm my son. I am more than a blogger. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Like this video as y'all come in here, please. And thank you. I know some of y'all, y'all probably didn't even get no notification. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on a minute. Let me notify my people. Hold on. Let me go over to, to the Patreon. I forgot to tell the people. Let me go over here, over here. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Okay, I'm going to give y'all a few more minutes to get in here. But y'all know the drill. Like this video. Like it, like it, like it. We got some hot tea to talk about today. I got a phone call and I got an earful and I'm like, oh, oh, what is happening? Why is the people mad on the internet? And I'm over here minding my business. I'm like, and why am I in it? And why am I in it? See, I ain't even do nothing, okay? Uh, <laughs> you see the agenda. We have uh, Usher's ex-wife, Tamika Foster, honey, drag and junkie Dineva on these internet streets like drag. I mean, red for filth, honey. Tamika is not playing. In addition to being on a new reality show, she had to get some things off her heart and her mind, honey. Hold on, hold on. We are live. Hold on, let me put this in my members. Okay, let me invite the members post over there okay come on in y'all i see the members okay i see john john and lsw and polo man and stacy i see y'all i see y'all i see y'all now let me go over here to patreon and tell them okay let me create a live because you know patreon people i think they got well you have to be in discord it automatically goes to discord patreon people if you don't have your discord set up i would uh request that you do it okay we are live, okay? Bam, bam, boom, boom. There's that next. Hold on. Let me save it. Let me put that right here. Bam, bam. And let me send it to everyone in the post. All right. Okay, I see Lola is in the building. I have to say hello to my squad. Y'all see all these people in the green. Those are our YouTube channel sponsors. You can be a channel sponsor too. Only thing I do is click that join button right below. And um, yeah, you you know, you could just support me monetarily or you could just subscribe for free. That's all I ask you to do is subscribe. It costs zero dollars and zero cents. Okay. I was just saying in my last live, I've been stuck at 110 for a long time. I'm feeling like Nene leaks around here. Is Bravo over here suppressing my numbers? What is going on? Is, is, is it a coincidence that my numbers is suppressed? Is it? Is it? I need to know. Okay. Uh, come on in. Oh, look at 
look at the member, guys. Butterfly been a member for 44 months. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You talk about a long time supporter. 44 months. How many years is that? 24. 40. <laughs> That's like two and a half. I'm a three. I'm talk. That's what I'm talking about. You see, I got these diehard supporters. I love them. Okay. Hey, Rodolfo. You said you barely get notifications. That's okay. We is here. Okay. Now, before I get started, before I get started, I want to go ahead and uh shout out uh Tamika Raymond. Okay, Tamika Glover. Okay, y'all saw Tamika, who is Usher's ex-wife, chilling at the Super Bowl. People was like Usher gave her some free tickets, and she was there. Didn't nobody have to say nothing. Okay, she was enjoying herself. Okay, even though Usher had got married to somebody else, he got him a nice white queen. His former ex, uh, black wife, was in the Super Bowl cheering them on. That's what I'm talking about. True love and support. Like Killer Mike said, black men need to marry black women. Some black men don't want to, but that's okay. Okay. Now, hold on. Let me go to Tamika's page really quickly. Hey, Sada. What's up? What's up? What's up? So, um, Tamika has said, you know, she's been saying, you know, she's been getting a lot of criticism these days since she's joining this new show. Uh, that Carlos King, you know, Messi Carlos King, who say he's not a blogger, you know, he didn't recruit Tamika over there. And Tamika, I don't know how they're gonna make Tamika look because you know, Tamika is very quirky, people say she mean and stuff. And so, lately, I don't know if you have noticed a lot of talk has been, you know, spoken about Tamika in the past couple of uh days or has it been a week since the Super Bowl since Usher has remarried for the third time okay not one not two but three okay um and people are like well what happened between him and Tamika I mean that was the mother of his first two sons and everything you know what happened it's been so long ago people have forgotten okay well yeah they say he had cheated but that ain't even my business but a lot of there was a lot of drama in their relationship so usher has come forward and basically he was taken up for tamika saying how it was the fans you know the fans didn't want him to be married the fans didn't want him to marry a a a, a black queen the fans you know was was criticizing her looks the fans the fans the fans now you know, a lot of people saying it wasn't, you know, the, her shape, her skin tone. It was her attitude. But I don't know that that's the case. I don't know. But the mama didn't like her and the fans didn't like her and nobody liked her. But Usher liked her and Usher had not one but two kids with her. Now, I say all that to say people have been covering it, i.e. Junkie Dineva. And I don't know what he said that triggered Tamika. But Tamika sent me this today. Oh no, let me show you what to be. <laughs> Y'all like this video because we look, I don't know how long I'll be on, but like this video. Hold on, hold on. Let me share this. Mm -hmm. This is what Tamika said. He was apparently in his comments uh after he posted uh his commentary on what Usher said about the fans not liking her for being dark skinned. Now, okay, hold on, hold on. Here it is, hold on, hold on. Why is this? Oh, shoot. It's not letting me access my screen. Hold on. Let me do this. Oh, no. Stream yard. Enter. You said Chili was dark skinned too. Oh, I got some for Chili in just a minute. Chili says she is not dark skinned. I don't care what y'all say, how y'all feel about Chili shade. Chili the colorist says she is not dark skinned. Okay. But hold on. I want to show y'all this. It still won't let me. Browser can't access your screen. Try capture a different screen. Hold on. Present share screen. I just shared Tamika. It let me do that. Why it won't let me share the other thing? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, StreamYard is acting up today. Oh, 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 oh. Shout out to my new member. Hold on, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in this way. I'm sure it's gonna let me share this. Okay, now this is what Tamika has said to Junkie Daniel. Disrespectful as fuck. Funny. I was just reminiscing about the true meaning of friendship and respect. Concepts as foreign to you as fiscal responsibility and decent housing seem to be. I gotta make myself big for this. 
Not him saying that he is friends with Tamika goes on to drag Tamika's looks. And then she says that uh, a, a meaning of friendship and respect is foreign to you as fiscal responsibility and decent housing. Oh my God. Anyway, she goes on to say, it's fascinating how you've appointed yourself the arbiter of beauty and age. Considering your own mirror must surely be cracked as cracked as your sense of loyalty. <laughs> not him calling Tamika ugly. Uh, not him pulling a uh, Chloe Bailey over here on Tamika. Look, Chloe was in her 20s. Tamika is in her 50s. Tamika say, I ain't having it. I'm not going to bite my tongue. I'm going to read your ass, your ugly ass. Okay. She says. <laughs> Oh, your own mirror must surely be as cracked as your sense of loyalty. Stretch marks, darling, those are badges of a life fully lived. A concept you might struggle to grasp from your high horse of borrowed stables. Oh, you don't even own where you live, Junkie Dineva, and Tamika know it too. She says, speaking of walking a day in my shoes, it's amusing to think you, nor the likes of you, will ever have the grace or fortitude to even attempt it. And frankly, you've never had on a pair I would wear. <laughs> re, what is the Nene Leaks re gift? Because Tamika was reading, honey. I don't even know. Is this it? Child, read, honey. Read. Okay. Now she goes on to say mm, mm, mm. Speaking of walking a day in my shoes, it's amusing to think you are the likes of you will ever have the grace or fortitude to even attempt it. And frankly, you've never had on a pair I would wear. Let's not confuse temporary attention with lasting respect. Ooh. And as for my ex, she's talking about Usher, by the way. Our history is a novel. Your commentary, merely a footnote. Oh, God. No, Tamika. Let's not call each other because apparently, from what I understand, he says something about Tamika number in my phone. Tamika number in my phone. He claims everybody's number is in his phone, but apparently, these people whose numbers is in his phone say that they don't fuck with him. This is Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. I am ATL. -ing. They say, uh, Junk and Dineva, we don't fuck with you. Anyway, uh, she, she said, let's not call each other. For my phone no longer recognizes numbers that spell hater. Best wishes on your journey to enlightenment. It seems to be a long road ahead. And she ended with bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Lord, that bitch ass motherfucker. Not Okay, now I have to listen. I have to preface this with a little personal backstory about uh, Tamika. Me and Tamika have been, we were frenemies, we were enemies, then we were frenemies, then we became friends along the way. Now, Tamika has dragged me back in the day when I would blog about her and Usher and her divorce from Ryan Glover and her subsequent, you know, coupling with Usher and everything that happened during that period. She did not like my commentary and I did not know her from a can of paint. And she used to read me down. However, this is a little, little background. Okay. A little background between me and Tamika. You know, uh, Phaedra was my attorney back then, <laughs> way back then. What year was this? 2008, 2009. I can't even remember. This was before Housewives. Phaedra was my attorney and Phaedra represented me against Tamika when I got a restraining order against Tamika because I was scared because I'm like, Tamika got all usher money. She might kill me. I'm just a blogger. Okay. But long story short, you know, we got past that. You know, I have interviewed Tamika several times, even on this channel, on the blog and everywhere else. We travel together. We are, you know, I, I would consider Tamika a friend. Okay. I would consider her that. But, um, Junkie Dineva, uh, when all of this stuff was going on between me and Junkie Dineva, of course, she met Junkie Dineva during that time. She knew about the eviction. And of course, Junkie Dineva tried to use my friendship with Tamika as uh, leverage, I guess, when he tried to read me online. He went online, talk about, you know, I loaned her money and she couldn't afford crab legs. And so I guess in his uh, bipolar ass brain, he felt like bringing all my friends into, into our beef would make everybody hate me. 
but you know the the opposite occurred okay the op but you know i'm digressing so he did that and so you know anyway tamika always this was this was really interesting to me because i almost cut tamika off because tamika always would you know kind of play neutral you know she didn't want to step on no toe she didn't want Junkie Dineva to be mad at her, and she didn't want me to be mad at her. Because, you know, we was the bloggers in Atlanta or whatever. And so at the end of the day, she stayed, you know, kind of neutral. She didn't, like, speak up on my behalf or whatever. She just kind of laughed it off like, child, maybe I was broke. Maybe Michelle did loan me spending. I don't care, whatever. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever, Tamika. But you know he ain't shit, right? You know, you know that, right? You know he lied on me. You realize a lot of the things that he says are falsehoods right and so she was like i get it i understand but you should forgive she would always tell me that she was like you should forgive the same way y'all be doing in the comment section you should let it go just walk away and i was like fuck him fuck everything about him i don't give a fuck he ain't shit and every chance i had to call him out about being not being shit i will call him out about being not being shit now, here we go. No, Tamika is not an ATL native, but she's lived here for a while. Actually, Tamika is from Oakland, honey. That's why she can read like this. Tamika is from Cali. So while she was telling me all these years, even up until last year, like, you know, even up until last year, telling me, you know, I should let it go or, you know, to, to, to you know, don't be dragging him. You know, you, you don't need to, whatever. How about this happens? And she calls me today. And it was like, you was right. <laughs> you was right. That nigga ain't shit. He done did it to, to Colorist Claudia. He done did it to, to Quad. He done did it to Fedra. He done did it to, to whoever you could think of. Any female, any woman that is uh, vaguely associated to him. He has burned those bridges. He done did it to Candy. He done did it to so many people. And people realize what a nasty spirit he is, okay? Now, you know, he may apologize and they may make up or whatever, but all I can say is I had told you so, Tamika. I had told you so. And I want to tell everybody that, you know, you're right. You did try to, you know, be play mediator. You did try to make it seem like, you know, you wanted everybody to be cool. But here we are now. You calling him a bitch ass motherfucker and I'm calling him a junkie. <laughs> You calling him a bitch ass motherfucker, and I'm calling him a junkie. Uh, yes, I've been trying to tell him. Right? I've been trying to tell him. Listen, I told Peter. Okay, I told everybody. It don't matter who it is. He does not give two shits about NT body. I know y'all always be like, Michelle, you're biased. You Michelle, you don't drag the people you like. And of course, I don't drag the people I like. Why would I? I live in Atlanta. I got friends. I need to be in these social circles. I don't need to be, but I'm in them. So why would I drag everybody to the pits of hell and then can't go out the house? Who, who would do that? Anyway, that's why he don't live in Atlanta no more. I'm just saying that he might move back, but he people don't see it for him. Uh, let's don't even get me started about Simon and everybody else, but I'm digressing. Honey. So I just wanted to tell that little personal story. I thought that was interesting. You said the junk and Dineva and Heavenly Fallout. I don't know if they did or not, because you know me and Heavenly, you know we're we we are cordial, but I don't really know her like that. Uh, you said that nose is always running, honey, and it will. It's going to keep running, honey, because he keep feeding it. <laughs> Isn't that what a coke nose is? The coke nose just be running all the time, just be blowing snot everywhere, just be sitting there and then just trickle out the nose. I don't know. He can't even sit still for an hour on live without blowing his nose. Oh, it's disgusting. You know, I be lurking. I be lurking every, on everybody's page. I look at everybody because I am a fan of everybody, okay? Uh, you said people always saying, let it go. If I don't want to let it go, then I won't. Boom, boom, pow, Joan. Shout out to Joan, okay? Look, speaking of letting it go, let's talk about Ursha, 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 and Chili, okay? Since so we talk about Tamika Raymond and Ursha, well, Tamika Foster, and Ursha. Let's talk about Chili and Ursha. Remember, Chili was with Ursha first. And on the internet, child, they have been dragging. They have been dragging Chili for the past couple of days. Who was it? Was it Mob Radio on uh, X basically pulled out some receipts that included some straight from the A receipts. Hold on. Let me pull this up. What's her name? Mob. Hold on. 
Hold on. Now I can't find it, child. Chili TLC. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought I had it queued up. Like this video, as y'all come in here. Like this video. So, um, oh, here it is. The Art of di Dialogue. Okay, Suge Knight says, left I told him that Chili. <laughs> Suge Knight is spilling all the tea. Speaking of Usher and Chili. But anyway, Suge Knight says, left I told him that Chili from TLC had herpes. The herpes. Oh, so did Chili give Usher the herpes? Or did, did Usher give Chili the herpes? We don't know because this was before Usher. So left I told him that Chili had the herpes and revealed that T-Boz and Chili was both sleeping with L.A. Reed. Also, Suge Knight detailed the time Whitney Houston flirted with Tupac. Now, hold on. I want to see this little clip. Let me see. Shout out to Breakbeat Media. Let's see what this say. Because they used a straight from the A clip in here. And I was like, where y'all get that from? Hold on. Where it go? Uh, here it is right here. Uh, so, Breakbeat Media, you used straight from the A. And you did not uh, attribute me. But I'm going to attribute you breakbeat media shout out to breakbeat media okay y'all know the drill copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism coming news reporting teacher scholarship and research hold on we about to listen to a little bit of this just a little bit she just moved in i did where was this coming from right so she was the only one, allegedly, according to her, who wasn't L.A. Reed. Chili and T-Boz was. They were fighting over L.A. Reed. This was like, she wasn't with that shit. She don't like soft. I ain't saying L.A. soft, but that's what she said. Oh, so so uh, he's saying that um, Lisa Lopez was the only one who wasn't giving, up, giving it up to L.A. Reed. But wait, there's more. Now... I remember her really getting into it, checking the other two members of the crew. I remember them being jealous of her. Now, why why is Suge Knight saying all this from jail? This is crazy. I remember Chili mad because Lisa slept with Dallas. Wait, is that a straight from the A picture? Wait a minute. Hold on. They, they been on my website. Oh, let me make this big y'all know y'all know i have to see honey because you know straight from the a is my intellectual pop look at breakbeat media using straight from the a in they little video look at that so if they try to flag me i'm gonna flag them back for trademark infringement because that is my my website okay let's finish chili mad because lisa slept with dallas austin and they in the group together. But Lisa re respond was, huh, we f but you know, you got herpes, so I made sure you put on rubber, so we all good. But nevertheless, she did some of the most incredible music that you can imagine. I'm talking about the people who never heard. So definitely give her cigars. And the same thing with uh, we not going to even bring Whitney into this. We can't bring Whitney into this, Shug. We're not going to do that to Whitney. Rest in peace, Whitney. But, um, yes, he was basically saying that Lisa Left Eye Lopez told him that Chili and T had the herpes from L.A. Reed. So did that mean that Chili gave it to Ursha? Because, you know, Ursha was said to have it because he got sued by two Jane Doe's and a John Doe for, for spreading the the, 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 the earth piece and even a, a girl named Quantasia. Now, he said, what in the AI is happening? Okay, that picture was very AI. Now, okay, I'm not going to drag that because, you know, that's they business. They got the herpes. They managing it with pills. I don't know. Oh, child, the herpes. Oh, these are their confessions, Lord. But uh, Chili, you know, Chili got her a white king now. She done moved on from Ursha. Okay. Chili has been, you know, she got a long list. Y'all remember what Chili wants? Chili had a whole show and she was seeking 
her perfect man. She had a list as long as the Mississippi. She was saying what she wanted in a man, and ain't nothing wrong with having standards, but people were saying that Chile had unrealistic expectations. Meanwhile, in addition to having this list this long, she was kicking it with Floyd Mayweather, getting gifts and stuff. She was allegedly, allegedly, allegedly kicking it with uh, Wayne Brady. You know, so she had her, her share of dark meat. So I guess, you know, but then y'all remember a few years ago, Chili did an interview and basically said that black women need to exercise their options and they need to like stop dating only only black men. Y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that? Put a one in the chat if y'all remember that because it's crazy. Because I actually talked about it. Hold on, Chili. Yeah, I actually talked about it. Um when it came out and i even put it in the description box where is it hold on where is it where is it where is it? i want to show you it is chili says are you down for the swirl there it is right there chili from tlc says black women should keep their dating options open now, I don't know how many years this was, but I know it was a long time ago because I was actually on my, no, this was this page. That's crazy. It was five years ago. Look at me right now. Five years ago. Are you down for the swirl? Chili says that black women should keep their dating options open. And y'all remember just the other day, just the other day, I was saying how Killer Mike was saying black men need to date black women or whatever the case. But uh, now Chili is actually dating Matthew Lawrence. So they're cute and all. They're all, you know, they're interracial love and they're all on the TikTok. They be doing their little TikTok dances and everything. And apparently today or yesterday when uh, Matthew posted a video of them dancing, somebody in the comments uh, said something or noted that, you know, he was down with the swirl, okay? And they was basically saying, chilly, chilly. You, uh, hold on, here's what they said exactly. Upscale boss lady said he got some chocolate. Now he now he got some moves. I approve, okay? That's what she said. And you know what Chili said in return? Y'all think I be in my feelings when I be talking about colorist Claudia and all this. Now Chili, who y'all have accepted as black, said she is not black, okay? She said she is not chocolate. He said she is caramel. I'm like, okay, uh, okay, uh, Chili, we understand you don't want to be dark skin. You don't want to be dark, okay? You know, in, in the past, Chili has said that she is Cherokee Indian. She is mixed with white, black, poor, all kind of things, but she will never claim black. And so I'm trying to figure out why, why, what made you do that? What difference does it make if somebody said that, that he had a little piece of chocolate? I don't get it. Do y'all get it? I don't understand. Um, you said she can be whatever hue she wants to be. Why is it an issue? It's not an issue to me. She can be whatever hue she wants to be, but it's giving me anti-black. Okay, it's giving colorist Claudia. It's giving colorism. Okay, I just I'm just saying she. Okay, you talk about caramel, caramel. It T boss is more caramel than chili. Hell, Lisa left out Lopez is more caramel than chili. But if you just wanted the distinction. Uh, Chili, we'll call you whatever we want to call you. We'll call you a white woman if that's what you want to be, you know, because if 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 men can be women, Rachel Dolezal can be black and Chili can be caramel, okay? <laughs> that's our listen. It's a mess, honey. This is a whole mess. Uh, and speaking of a whole mess, you said she looks chocolate. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Sound like self-hate to me. Sound like colorism to me. I'm just saying. Chili don't want it. Listen, Chili telling y'all, y'all shouldn't date black men. Now she got her a good white king. And now all of a sudden she ain't black. She caramel, honey. She can't be chocolate. As if chocolate doesn't come in all kinds of colors. She could have been white chocolate. I'm just saying. Why is it that she had to make the distinction between chocolate and caramel? Colorism. Okay. Chili was thinking about dark chocolate. I'm just saying. Think about it. If it's not colorism, I wouldn't even be thinking about it. Uh, you said she profited off of the off of us chocolate people. Okay, she raised her her whole life was the chocolate people. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all is mad. Y'all is mad. Y'all must be caramel too. 
<laughs> Y'all must be caramel too in the chat, honey. I'm just saying, what difference does it make? Chili is caramel brown. Okay. Well, so be it. Let her be chocolate. Okay. Let her be caramel. Let her be whatever she want to be. But just know chocolate comes in various shades, just like caramel does. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Oh, now you look like a druggie. Oh, let's go look at him. Hold on. Now you look like a druggie. Where is it? I'm going to show you this little dance video, but I can't show him dancing because y'all know why. Um, uh, Instagram, Matthew Lawrence. Like this video as y'all come in here, please. And thank you. Here is the video that uh, she left a comment under right here. Okay. There it is. And people saying that skin is brown and glowing. People saying it in the chat. I guess too many people was calling her brown. I think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody in the comments says, right. It's almost like she didn't like being called chocolate, but she is chocolate and chocolate is beautiful. Never be ashamed of that. Ooh. So here is the um, upscale boss lady comment where she says, okay, Matthew, he got some chocolate. Now he got the moves. I approve. And so she said it up under there, but it's like a hundred comments respond. There she is right there. Chili says caramel. Okay. And then people up under here, like, really, really? Okay. But um, somebody said, Chili, your skin is brown, honey. You do, in fact, qualify as chocolate. Left eye qualified as car caramel. Love yourself. And somebody said, Chili, this is so embarrassing. Is caramel in the room with us right now? Uh, the other person said, you want to be light skin so bad. Since you brown skin like chocolate, it's okay. Somebody else said, you chocolate, not caramel. So people's like dragging her about it. I'm just saying it is what it is. I just thought it was interesting that, you know, another one of Usher's exes is, is, you know, having an issue being dark skin while to, uh, Tamika is not having an issue being dark skin, but, but was being clowned for being dark skin. It's just interesting. Yet and still, then we got Usher who married his white queen as well. <laughs> Usher married his Italian princess, Jennifer Gotcha, 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 Chia. Okay. And so, you know, I guess he figured, you know, he went from chocolate to, to caramel. And now he's he's with white chocolate. <laughs> he's with white chocolate. So salute to Usher. It's his, it's his business and his, it's his wife. Uh, she's actually the... Uh, not the color of the milk dude, Lord. Not the color of a milk dude. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, like this video, y'all get in here. I just threw these comments together because I just found it interesting that I got that phone call today from Tamika, and Tamika was hot, honey. She was pissed off when she said, uh, when she said those things in that that read, honey, that read was a read. Now, last but not least, I wasn't gonna touch on this, but I know some of y'all on Instagram wanted me to. God. The mother in Memphis, child. The mother in Memphis who had her daughter waxing crotches. Why did they have the little girl waxing crotches? And why does TMZ have a picture of the little girl waxing the lady crotch? I can't even pull it up because the, the little girl is waxing the crotch in the picture. We see the back of her head, but it's still not appropriate. Okay. TMZ writes a woman in Memphis was reportedly arrested after having her young daughter wax adult women, something she appears to have posted online. See everything we know. So uh, here is the latest mugshot. Her name is Jasmine Moss. And she was very proud. She was talking about she is, you know, giving giving away deeds and LLCs. She's teaching her daughter how to be a businesswoman by uh, forcing her to, to, to wax crotches. I'm like, girl, did you not, how did you not know that that was child abuse? How did, how did you not know? How did you not realize that? I don't understand how anybody would think that that's okay. And, and apparently according to the story, it was 24 women who were waxed by this little girl who was like, what, four years old or something? Four or five, somewhere around there. And so it's like, how is it that the people who were getting waxed didn't say anything was wrong with this? 
or is it that the people who were getting waxed didn't report the situation? Nobody knew about the situation until the mother actually posted it on her social media. Yeah. On her social media. And social media was in such an outroar that uproar that, you know, they contacted the authorities and they investigated and now they have locked her up for child abuse. Mm. Lock her up and throw away the key. I hate to see, you know, anytime a, a mother in that situation, but, you know, she wasn't mothering her children. So perhaps she could find a better, mo better mother uh, out there. But I don't know. But anyway, he said, can you imagine if you went in for a wax and a little kid came out? I would be like, I am out of here. OK, arrest the clients, too. I agree. I agree. They, they're trying to say that it's a, a type of pedophilia. OK. Uh, involved in it's a, a form of grooming because it's basically getting the child acclimated to seeing private parts and it's something wrong with that it is something very very wrong with that okay how do people snitch on themselves from social media they do it every day think about it. the drug dealers do it everybody do it the frosters do it the ppp people do it everybody uses social media and gets caught up honey just put it on social media just be happy to show off your crimes i don't get it but anyway, moving on, moving on. Uh, I would love to take a few calls from you guys. Y'all know I love talking and running my mouth. We are streaming simultaneously on YouTube and Rumble, okay? Shout out to the people on Rumble. Come over to YouTube if you want to join the stream. I have placed the StreamYard link in the YouTube. Let me pin it for you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pin. Oh, I can't pin it. Uh, so y'all see it in the chat. Click that link if you want to come in, share your thoughts on these stories, honey. If you think Tamika was right for reading Junkie Dineva in his Instagram messages for what he said about her, calling her old and ugly, again, yet another gay black man calling a black woman ugly. I don't understand. Didn't he get enough of that from Chloe Bailey? Like, what? Since when did Junkie Dineva become, like Tamika said, the arbiter of beauty? <laughs> Since when? Okay. He said, Junkie is still around. I don't know. He probably somewhere blowing his nose. The story made you very uncomfortable. Okay. Me too. I have pinned the link for anyone who would like to join me. Uh, these days, parents are unbelievable. This is why the children are out of control, dressing the kids like adults and post their children for Beyonce. Ooh. Yeah, well, let's pray for the mothers and, and the kids because right now it is too much. We need people raising their own kids and putting another child in foster care to me is not the move. But this situation, mm -mm, mm -mm. not you had a business in your house and you got your child waxing people's poonies. Where the hell did you? Anyway, I'm, I'm done with that. Uh, black women don't care. They go up for these men. They love to see other black women get bashed by black men. Oh, CW, you are right. It is so many black women who cape for a lot of these men online who drag women all the time. They drag the housewives. They drag the married, the medicine women. They talk about, listen, I saw Carlos King talking about Sweet T's womb and, and her rotten eggs or something. He was saying, it was like, how dare you? How dare you talk about a woman with infertility issues, Carlos King? How dare you? So, yes, it's a lot of uh, men out there. But, you know, there's it's some good men out there, too. But there's some of them out there who, I don't know, they feel like, you know, they have a safe space with women. And then they treat the women who have supported them so long like shit. I mean, we can bring a lot of people into this. We could talk about Junkie Dani, but we could talk about um what's what's the man name? Uh TS Timothy. We could talk about all of them. Child want to cosplay as women, but you know, want to drag with real women every chance they get. And uh shout out to Couture Bay. Okay. Shout out to Couture Bay. I saw Couture Bay over there on uh Tasha K's channel. Tasha K is actually putting together uh um a bunch of creators to mimic uh flop soul okay listen claudia stole the concept and now tasha k has stolen it from, from claudia okay and so she put uh couture bay 
and two male content creators. I think it, but I don't know who it was. I ain't gonna even mention them because they didn't drag me before. But it was two male content creators at Couture Bay, okay? And uh, I think they did a great job. And apparently, T.S. Mans got pissed off because he was uh, one of the subject matters, and now he over there dragging Couture Bay, dragging Couture Bay, dragging Tasha K, dragging uh, Jovi Beauty, dragging all the women. But it was two men sitting up there, and he ain't dragging them. It was one man that was involved in the whole scandal, i.e., uh, who was it, Oliver Twig, and he ain't dragging him. So I'm just like, y'all, y'all sit there, y'all don't see this. I don't understand. Y'all can't see that the only thing this man is so jealous and hateful and insecure that the only thing he does is drag women and womanhood every chance he gets, despite there being males involved. The story originated from a male, but T.S. Testosterone didn't go on his live stream and drag that man. Hmm, interesting. Oh, but okay. I don't know. It wasn't the same type of drag to run. I saw the clip. It wasn't the same type of drag. It wasn't t telling nobody to wrap around the tree and and to, to off themselves and, and talking about it was none of that. It wasn't calling him no gorillas and monkeys. It was none of that. Okay. I didn't see no drags like that. Like with the men, they really take it easy on the men. Y'all know the LGBTQ sticks together. Like they may say a little bit online, but nowhere publicly would they read them like they be reading these women. Okay. I'm just letting y'all know. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention to the people who are with you and the people who are not. Okay, that's all I got to say. Support black women. Okay, if it, uh, without a black woman, none of them would be here. Anyway, man hands is an Emmy winner. Oh, 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 oh. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> y'all ain't calling in. Uh, I have pinned the link for y'all to call in. Man hands did, didn't win an Emmy. Who said that? Man hands got an Emmy replica. On his desk. I went over there and watched honey, an Emmy replica on his desk with no tag on it. He didn't bought an Emmy replica from the gift store and got his whole people thinking he won an Emmy because he made an appearance on RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul won the Emmy. He did not win an Emmy. Okay. He is Emmy adjacent. Okay. He has bragging rights for participating in the show, but he did not win. Like you could go to the Academy Awards. Uh, website <laughs> look like Oliver has eloquently told y'all you can go to the Grammys website and you can look for yourself and see exactly who won the Grammy. You can see exactly who won the Emmy, and you will not see T.S. Timothy or T.S. Madison or Timothy Hinton nowhere on the thing. I'm just saying, but y'all believe anything, honey. I got a Grammy too, <laughs> I got a Grammy too, okay. Yes, T.S. Man Hands. But, uh, you know, salute to him. Salute to him for being a part of the projects. Uh, you said I'm on, <laughs> at home and on fire. Am I on fire? It's 1,500 of y'all in here. Y'all ain't even liking my video. I am pissed off. Like this video and subscribe, okay? Uh, Anywho, you got one too? Okay, that's my point. I got one. You got one. We can all get one. Go to the gift shop, okay? Go to the gift shop. And buy you a good old Grammy over there on Hollywood Boulevard. Go and buy you a good old Academy Award, honey, and put it on your on your mantle, okay? Like everybody mm -hmm. else. Uh, like I told y'all yesterday, my challenge to TS Man Hands, TS Testosterone, is to show y'all the actual certificate and the uh the uh y'all know what I'm talking about. The, the plaque on the Grammy. Show y'all the, the plaque on the Grammy and on the award that says T.S. Madison. But okay, I, I bet he's going to go to an uh, engraving shop and make one. <laughs> Let's see it, honey. Let's see it. You said you got three. What? How you got three? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, 30 seconds for some likes. Okay, look, my people said y'all need 30 seconds for some likes. Like this video, please, and thank you. I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds, and then we're going to take some calls. We got some calls in the bag. Like it.
back, we back. I didn't see the lights go up. Let me go look. How many likes I got on this thing video? It's 1,500 of y'all in here. And I got 586 likes. Y'all y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all self. Not 586 likes. Oh, at least give me to 1,000. Dang. Okay, 593. We coming up. Okay, let me go ahead and take some of these calls. Hold on. Oh, not Pussy Willow. Hey, Pussy Willow. Von hey, Zipper. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Hey, Ma. Hey, Mama Brown. Um, I just wanted to say I am so, 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 so tired of these people abusing the people, both women and children, that have authentic punanis. They are not only trying to replicate the beauty of a punani, but they're trying to, um, what is the word with that, that little baby, that little girl, they're trying to, uh, I don't, it's, it's a word. They're trying to make, they're trying to confuse her into, um, seeing, uh, maybe, no, hmm. Um, I, 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 always, I always I always just say this, you know, uh, women and children were really never protected. You know what I mean? Childhood is is like a is like a fantasy. That's not a real thing. You know what I mean? So we as we as women of color and I'm going to say black women because I'm a black woman. I'm a, you know, probably a chat. Uh, what a descendant of chattel slavery, you know, in America. Um, nobody gets treated like black women. Nobody who who goes around and talks about somebody's punani all day. I'm waiting for somebody to talk about these loose anal sphincters. Okay. Now, how is it? That? No, 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 no. We not gonna do that. We got too much class for that. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Okay. So we do, right? Okay. So we're not gonna talk about it. But I'm just saying. Stop normalizing the um the uh the the sexual uh the sexual uh what is it it's it's like perverted you know what I mean mm -hmm. um they're trying to pervert womanhood and that's I something do. that that needs to stop now and it's as crazy well, because as soon as we start to speak up about womanhood all of a sudden is oh gender is a a social construct you're not really yeah. a woman like that was a sign yeah. at birth and i don't even want to go into the argument but it just feels like it's always the women who are on the wrong side of history like men say this or feel this way all the time and they don't get pounded for it so it's a form of patriarchy where you know men exercise their power over women and make you like fall in line and just agree with whatever they say gay straight Definitely. I agree. I agree. I do believe. I do believe. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Okay. I'm sorry. I was listening to you. Your mouth is moving, but um, I couldn't hear you. But what I want to also say is that um the uh there's a there's a there's a documentary, you know what I mean? Uh Scotty and the uh the, the secrets of Hollywood. And if we watch that that bit that that documentary. You'll see that it's nothing that is going on that is like off limits because they they pass laws. You know, pedophilia used to be on the on the ballots and stuff, and people said no, but then they they found a way to um to you know to to pass it. Um, I, I'm a woman. I'm a real woman, and. You know, I don't feel like I have to sound a certain way. I don't have to be a certain size. I don't have to, you know, have a certain tone in my voice unless I'm in a professional setting. You know, I, I understand that. But mm -hmm. for me to have to worry about it's, you know, say if I just run out the house with a baseball cap on, right, and some sweatpants or whatever, I shouldn't have to worry about getting attacked because somebody, you know, questioning who and what I am. Ain't none of your business. And I know you're not going to ask me. So I just want, I just want the opportunity to, to say, Hey, 
I don't have to agree with you, but I don't have to stop being who I am. And I don't have to explain who I am either. Either you like it or you love it. I don't care who you are, what you are, what you think, what you believe in. Do whatever you want to do. But that doesn't give you carte blanche to bully people. It's a lot of bullying going on. I always say that pro me does not mean anti you. We both can coexist. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just because I'm pro me, I am not anti you. We can all live here in this world together peacefully. But I appreciate you, Pussy Willow, for Thank your you. commentary. Have a good one. Be well, Mama Thank Brown. You. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Hey, Von Zipper. What's up, stranger? Hey, Michelle. I know it's been a what while. What friend? Uh, you know, I've been watching. I watch it a lot, and then I watch the replay. I, I'm okay. in the know. <laughs> um, so Tamika Raymond, uh, you telling me I hate the shoulda, coulda, woulda. We were robbed of her having her on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta at its prime. But that girl, I got some emails. I need her to write to some corporate people. Okay, I was <laughs> like, oh, Tamika, because you know I hadn't seen it. We don't follow each other, me and um, uh, Junkie Donnie, of course. And she said this over to me, and then it was followed by a phone call. We had a long conversation about this. And I'm like, girl, girl, we talked about this a long time ago. How t- <laughs> chat GPT like now you could see? never. Huh? Chat GPT could never. Okay. Yeah, that, that come with wisdom and age. <laughs> yes, not the big ass motherfucker, honey. <laughs> Stretch marks, darling. These are badges of a life fully lived, a concept you might struggle to grasp. No, my favorite part was when she said, um, what did she say? Where is it? She said, uh, it's the part where she was like, uh, we had to borrow stables. Uh, damn, it was one line she said that was so hilarious. I was like, that's concepts as foreign to you as fiscal responsibility and decent housing. I think it was a temporary, she was like the temporary, some about temporary attention or something. Oh, she said, uh, some about temporary. I was like, that's a good Let's line. Let's not confuse temporary attention with lasting respect. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Um, you know, I always break news and stuff. Um, is Mar- where is Marlo? Uh, I think she, re- I heard she's going to be back this season. That's what I heard. Okay. But she over there, she be posting every morning. Okay. I get a notification. Marlo Hampton added to her story every morning. Though. So who so they keeping three of the six? I've heard. This is what I've heard. I heard that Drew is coming back. I heard that Portia will be back. I've heard that Kenya will be back. I heard that Marlo will be back. I heard that Ming Lee is a friend. I have not heard anything about Sheree Whitfield. Or anybody else. So I'm hoping that perhaps they bring like at least two or three new people. I don't know. Yeah, that's about right. And like they, uh, <laughs> you know who my friend is. She's She technically hasn't signed anything because they were worrying about um, Portia and um, Kenya. So that show is just... It's tired. It's tired. And, and, and I was talking to a friend of mine earlier today. I think that Portia, uh, uh, somebody associated with Portia, leaked those damn Simon documents. Well, now we know, you know why he's had four us, American wives. Huh? Now we know why he's so quick to go to the altar. But for the life of me, I'm like, I just, I can't. I, I you be in deep I don't think love. so, though. I think, I think it's a nothing burger, but they trying to make it look like a, a something burger. No, I don't think it's nothing, but I see like knowing the process is it helps you to get through the process when you marry a naturalized citizen. But he's been married three times to, to to women, American women who who didn't Remember, have. Remember, he jobs. was married before he married Fallon. Who didn't have jobs? <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I just wanted to say, hey. Well, I appreciate you, Von Zipper. Always a pleasure. They out of trouble, yeah. Michelle. I know the trouble oh, comes to you. Huh? I said stay out of trouble, but the trouble always come to you. 
I try. You know, but I'm, I'm going to run my mouth, though. <laughs> Have a good night. All right. You too, Vanessa. Hey, Re. Hey, Michelle. How are you? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So if if Marlo comes back, I'm going to be a little bit excited because of this whole thing with um with uh, Portia and her husband. Cause I want to hear more what Marlo has to say about this. Because mm. if if Ken, if Kenya's supposed to be like friends with um Portia, she might not, you know, really say much, but I'm looking forward to it. And I'm tired of Sheree. Sheree be like, you know, you know, Sheree, we, we're all like rooting for her and she always disappoints. I'm just tired of the disappointment. I'm just tired of it. Just plain sick and tired of it, Michelle. You don't think but, they keep but, it Sheree back so that they can have like some type of connection to the beginning? We keep, we know? have connections to the beginnings. It's called um, reruns. Well, yeah, I agree. I agree. What has Charade bring, brought to us besides this appointment? What has she brought to us? You know, traitors. I mean, people like Charade. Yeah, they like her until she disappoints you. I'm just waiting for the disappointment on traitors, okay? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. But I'm trying to figure out this lady who is letting her child wax adult women down there. You're telling me you can teach this little girl how to file. So you can teach her her ABCs. You can teach her how to count. You can teach her how to pick up phone calls. You can teach her how to write. You want her to look at people's cooch? <clears throat> people's cats? Horrible. You had, and then you the, had picture, so many the picture that's even on TMZ right now. If y'all go to TMZ right now and look at the picture... They got the, it's blurred, the cat is blurred out. But they got the picture of the little girl standing in between the lady's legs. Uh -uh. The lady's legs. Not, yeah. They should go after her for um for unhealthy, unhealth, healthy <laughs> work, <laughs> unsanitary work environment and equal, well, I mean, what is it, equal like, pay. Addition to the child abuse, I mean, she violated several things. Child labor laws, because she said she had the girl working eight hours a day waxing 24 coochies like come on now you can't mm -hmm. you know, working all day and night oh yeah of course it, it, i'm just still mad about the fact that she's like i'm teaching her a trade so you tell me that you can teach her all these other things but just to wax that doesn't make sense make that make sense to me i i, I just don't understand it i just don't understand it but anyways like I, like the com like the lady lady Grady what is it lady Grady said yeah she she's not in her right mind she is not in her right mind and I hope um one of like either her father gets custody of her or some another family member who can provide her a stable home gets custody of that child hmm. so that's true somebody asked about but, KKK Kim KKK Kim ain't coming back to well supposedly so allegedly she's claiming that she's shooting um she's uh she's shooting with real housewives of atlanta that's what she's saying on other news outlets oh mm. so i'm like wait i didn't know that they were shooting already i mean but remember she shot the other the other time with lisa Wu and them that didn't mean she was back yeah but she th this is what she's saying allegedly that she's like you know working with the girls again so i'm like the girls will work with her nobody will work with her Girl, I'm, I'm just saying what the other news networks are saying. That's it. I, oh. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. That ain't what I heard. I, I, girl, I know you got the real scoop. And I, I know that she'd be lying. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. No, I don't, I don't trust wrong. Kim. She'd be lying four ways to Sunday. So I, I don't believe it. Until you or, um, until you or some, well, until you say something, then I'll believe it. But other than that, I'm, I don't believe it. I just mm. think she's just trying to get some money to pay her house that's in foreclosure for the 5th, 11th time. Oh, my God. The privilege of it all. How are they allowed to stay in that house and not pay the mortgage? I'm just confused. <laughs> mm. Girl, I don't know. But th that that's something with um, Fulton County. County. Y'all need to discuss that instead of going after Fanny. <laughs> Funny. Fanny, Fanny, Smish, my smooth. Y'all need to go after Kim to get the money. Y'all, <laughs> y'all ain't going after Fanny. That's them Republic. That's Trump and them trying to trying to uh, get get us thrown off the case. But anyway, I'm digressing. But thank you, Rick. 
No problem. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Hey, Miss Dogan. I can't hear you, Miss Dogan. Miss Dogan. Can y'all hear Miss Dogan? Put a one in the chat if you can hear. Put a two if you can't. Because I can't hear. Miss Dogan gone. Okay. Uh, Funny is a beast. Okay, Funny says she like drink Grey Goose. She's not a wine drinker. She drinks Grey Goose. <laughs> Uh, and funny with me and my mama watched that whole list. I'm not gonna like do no commentary because I did some already on funny. But me and my mama watched that whole diff that whole thing when she was on the stand. And when she told the uh other attorney who was questioning her that uh they actually brought her closer, like they're not in a romantic relationship, but we closer than we ever been. <laughs> I was like, Yes, funny, like they can't break up yo, you and your good man. <laughs> It's a mess. It is a whole mess. But anyway, funny is a G, and they she is not gonna get pulled off that case, regardless of what y'all say. Because one thing don't have anything to do with the other, and everybody in government in Atlanta is supporting of her. Okay. Uh, let me see. We got somebody else back here. Who is this? Hello. Hey, Miss Hill. How you doing? Oh, hi, Dre you Taylor. Look so beautiful. Thank you, Taylor. Oh, uh, how you how you are been? You Taylor Swift, what Taylor are you? How you been? I've been good, and you? That's good. I've been good. I've been so good. That's God good. is good, and I've been good. Okay. You know, every everything in life is so good. I love that being is, good. That is such a blessing. Yeah. Okay. So, so do you think Tilly got herpes? Who? Tilly. Tilly. Uh huh. What she look nice said, I don't know. What she got? I kind of believe it though. Why you believe that? I just I, I just kind of believe I I mean, well, how did Ursula get it? Somebody had to give it to him. I don't I don't know who gave it. To but him. it was something that you were talking about when you were talking about like Tamika Foster, and you was like, I told what you say you told her what type of person. Um oh Jackie Daniva was. Yeah, you told her what type of person he was. Uh-huh. And she didn't believe you. Uh huh. That's what I be trying to tell you about Nene Lee's. Oh, she but you is don't not have your friend. friend. You have never huh? had any personal encounters with Nene Lee. So how yes, you know? I have. I live in Atlanta. Anybody can have it. Who do you think this lady is? You really think she's like she's this big time celebrity? Look at the picture. Look at the picture I have of my profile picture. She look at the picture. You see a lady legs up, and you see Nene Lee's. That she had downgraded from R A H O A to Zeus. And you gonna tell me I never had nothing to do with Nene Lee's? I seen Nene Lee's plenty of times. What are you talking about? I live in Atlanta. You saw her on TV. Is that what you're saying? I know. I seen her in person. I live in Atlanta. What are you talking about? You feel like oh. this lady famous? Anybody in Atlanta could go see Nene Lee's. Look who graced us with their presence. <sighs> <laughs> Organic. Hey, good evening. Hi. 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 Jazzy. Why y'all stop talking? Oh, Jazzy Bill, that's you. Listen, you know, I was, I, I just, I thought you died. You did what? I thought oh you God. died. You did. Stop it. <laughs> So I, I had to like I inboxed Michelle and told her to go see is it rest in heaven underneath your IG page. <laughs> is that why you, call? you yeah, call? I thought you was dead. I swear to God, I thought you died, but I'm glad to hear you still be like well, where you been at? Where like what happened? That is so not nice, Dre. For real, because usually because when I ride down the street, I usually see Jazzy Bill standing in front of the Taco Bell at the bus stop and I usually blow at her. And I haven't seen her there in like months. Dre, I've been the same place you've been. I ain't really been nowhere like that. I'm glad to hear you alive and living, though, because everybody died, so I thought you was, like, one of the ones that died. You wish I died. No, I would. Die. I don't wish death on anyone. Except my worst enemy. But that, I don't wish death on no one, Jazzy Bill. Except. 
You said what? Let's play some more. Wait a minute before y'all get into this whole. I miss her reunion. though. I thought she was dead. Hold on, before y'all get, we got Foxy Noxy in the building. Let's let's let Foxy Noxy talk about the topics. Hey, Foxy Noxy. Hey, Michelle. How you doing, friend? All right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What would you like to talk about today? Uh, I want to talk about um, candy. Okay. No, um, yeah. no, yeah, I, want want to, gender, but go ahead. I know, but I, you know, once I got through, I said, um, we got to support candy. Candy is one of our own. So, uh, you know, I, I don't like the negativity sometimes that comes that way from, uh, from the fans over there for candy. Candy is an a, a, a AT alien too. So we got to support and stand behind our girl candy. Don't be looking crazy. <laughs> but I'm just trying to figure out where is this coming from? Who is it, that? Somebody, yeah, y'all like, say like Kenny saying she, the money. Kenny got all the money. Kenny got all the all the businesses. What, what we yeah, need but, to what are we talking about? But, but I'm just saying, saying Candy got fired from Bravo. Candy didn't get fired. Did. How did. did she get fired? Bravo made her a low ball offer that they knew she wouldn't take. And Candy was like, "Bye, I can make this money doing reels on TikTok." But you know, from 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 what I understand, like her contract was, um, they didn't want her to do other things outside of Bravo. Oh come so on! So I think she made a boss oh, move. No, 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 that's a lie. They oh. Candy been doing other things outside of Bravo. Yeah, Bravo but, just but, had first right of refusal. But I thought the new contracts were saying that they, if they were going to do anything, that they only had to do it with Bravo. They were trying to um, narrow them down to only doing stuff with Bravo, Who and they couldn't that? go out. Huh? That's Porsche. That's the contract Porsche chose to sign, but that's not all the contracts. But um, but so they didn't try to do that with Candy. No. Okay. The candy so what, they, they try. That's what they try to do. Well, it seemed like something that that the reason why Candy uh didn't want to re up is because they wasn't giving her a definite time when they were gonna. Candy um, didn't want to re up because Bravo is favoring Phaedra right now, and whether Phaedra is coming back, that remains to be seen. I don't know if she'll come back this season or next season, but Candy was a but, lowballed, and B she still doesn't have uh you notice know, Andy even said it. Candy used to call the executives all the time, get them a piece of her mind. Candy wanted control of everything. And when uh, that last executive left, who was it? Laura Esculin? I can't remember if that was her or somebody else. Candy didn't have favor with, with uh, the executives no more. So it's like Candy was gone. But, but Candy is literally uh, Atlanta. Okay. So I think we need to support her more instead of supporting the outsiders. Excuse me, um, Miss Foxy. Excuse me. What you have to realize: this is a channel full of haters. So it's not who has not Candy like supported. Candy. Let's let's start there. Who has Candy supported? She supports everybody. Support everybody. Everybody. Like everybody. I'm not community. even a Candy fan. She supported so, Latasha when Latasha gospel album came out. She supported. She did not Kylie. support Latasha. Yes, she did. She said, "Go, everybody, she go had buy." It on Tasha. a TV show. Yes, and if she said, "Go buy phone, Latasha album." About candy, no more. I'm on straight yard. I'm <laughs> not, not on your candy. phone. This is Come not on straight yard. Okay, show, Candy Michelle. was not even in the title. We was talking about Usher's ex, Tamika. What my question to you? Who do Nene Leak support? Anti-black. Who does Nene Leak support? She don't even support you. I'm going to click off of each and every one of you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Foxy Noxy, for calling and supporting the Candy Coated Click. Even Jazzabelle was quiet on this one. Jazzabelle, like, she ain't in it either. I, but it ain't like that, Michelle. But I just, you know, I just like to support our own. <laughs> I support our own. What are you talking about? Okay. You support Nene Lee. She is not black. I support everybody. Even even talking about Candy negatively is supporting her. If I wasn't okay. talking about her at all, that would be not supporting her. Support Claudia Jordan. Oh, no. Why? Why would I support a colorist? <laughs> you, you support everybody. Support Claudia. Support Junkie, support Junkie Deneva. Now, move on. Next. Now I ain't going to so go much, that far. It's been a pleasure to speak with you. Okay, Michelle. Bye. And I will consider what you said. I will. Okay. Allegedly. 
<laughs> now that she's off the show, I will consider it. Okay. Her other endeavors. Bye bye. Bye. You know, Miss Kate, you, you, know, you need to stop hating. That's not looking good on you. It's not looking or good at all. And Taylor, anything y'all want to say before we go? No, I, I thought... want to talk about Usher. Okay, go ahead. Jasmine. Okay. Well, I really want to talk about Chili. Who is that in your picture? That's Drew. Oh, I like no, it. Michelle, look at my picture. I, I don't want to. Can you, your picture might get me banned. It won't get banned. Just your Who favorite is, is in there. But Jazzy, I thought you had like a dude, and he would let you. I thought he was like beating on you. I just had to make sure you was good because I, you know, I, I got, you know, I have to. I, I got to. Wants to talk about Usher Dre. I know. I was just trying to. I'm just glad to hear her. You know, I don't really talk to people too many people on on this on this channel <laughs> besides, you know, Jazzy. <laughs> Inside, I, I don't really talk to nobody else, so I, I just you know, I gotta make sure you know, I, I, I just be checking on Jasmine sit inside. I, you know, just make sure they you know, cool stuff because oh you my know, god, Dre, okay, you got a channel full of haters. Well, why don't we do why don't we do this reunion over on Patreon? No. Okay, bye. Oh, but I want to hear about Usher. Well, I just want to know why. Uh, Okay, my first question is kind of inappropriate, so I won't ask it here. But the second Speak one, up a little bit, friend. Oh, okay. My first question is kind of inappropriate, so I won't ask it here. But the second he got, question, he got hurt. Is, he got what, it. Where Shut up, Jerry? Go ahead. Where did that lady come from? The one that lady he, that he's with now. She she was working uh, at the labor. She was working in the industry doing something. I don't know, but they've been dating for a good two three years. Okay, so is that the real reason to me? I think she was home? working for BMI, maybe. Attention to and call your wow. Is that the real reason um, Tamika called you crying? If you have liver problems, are taking a certain call me crying. When? No, you Tamika know. wanted to borrow some money from Michelle, like a lot of other people do, and Michelle loaned her the money, like she loaned a lot of <laughs> what other people. Are you talking about? I just said that Tamika called me about Jack and Dineva dragging and her and calling crying. her ugly you and old and also. patiently and whatever it is he said about her body and stretch marks and whatever. You also said and something about crying. Uh, that's no, no, no. See, that's a farce. That's not real. She just, she just did that as a um. That's not really what she was upset about. Oh, for real? She's been triggered since the Super Bowl. I don't believe that. He oh. already had two kids by this girl. He got a daughter and a son. But now he's frolicking her around and they got married. They've been frolicking around for the past two years, Jezebel. Where have you been? Well, now they got married. Now she mad. She even on my website, Google Jennifer Gunda 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 on straight for that. Hey, she white, right, Michelle? She's Italian, like Claudia. Yeah. Good job. Everyone is leaving the black lady. Y'all don't know how to though. be a white. Oh, yes. Caucasian. Everybody is leaving, y'all. It's true. Y'all don't know how to take. Just be quiet. When when I say be quiet, just be quiet. And that's what's right. happening. Hey, I'm sorry. Willow, welcome back. We, like we about to go though, Pussy Willow. But go ahead. What you got? Unfortunately, that's what's going on. Pussy Willow. Yes. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Dre. Did you come hey. Hey, hey, Dre. Hey. Hey, um, hey, um, Jazzy Bell. Um, no, I just okay. wait, let me turn it down. Let me turn it down. Okay. Um, wait a minute, let me turn my TV down. Hold on. Michelle, please don't go to Patreon because I have Patreon and I was supporting you, and it just, you know. It wouldn't. I guess it was too much on my on my phone, and I wasn't able to like, you know, enjoy the conversations. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to also listen. You know what I mean? And so I just said, well, I'll just support you the other way. But um, I just wanted to um, to say, uh, um, Claudia Jordan, Funky Doniva, uh, T. S. Madison, Nene Leakes. Candy Burris, Michelle ATL and Brown, Tasha K, Killer Mike, all the all the all the all the people that are doing things, we need to be celebrating that. You know what I mean? I know this is a show to speak about, you Why know, you things. Timothy. 
that woman hey wait 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 well no now hey i i just said that because you know i don't want dre, uh, dre to you know to to say you know i don't want to get dre upset so i'm just dre saying i include <laughs> i include everyone because dre ain't got nothing to do with what, ts okay. Oh, I thought he said talk about T.S. Madison. I thought that's what he said. Oh, no. You did not think Girl, that. Girl, what? Anyway, oh, call that okay. To, 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 no, no, no. That's not what. That's not why I came in. But, but no, okay. I just wanted to say um, Jazzy Bell said that she wanted to talk about Chile. And I think that that's a discussion that needs to be had because that's talk some serious that. stuff. Yeah, but the, the question I had to ask is not... A I, it's not really appropriate, but I but I understand what you're saying. We're gonna talk about we'll talk about it on Patreon. We'll be on Patreon tonight. If but Michelle, like. she don't have Patreon, so she wants you to talk but about it. Here. No, 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 no. We can move on to something else. I just want to. I just can, can just a little, maybe a little. You know, can we talk about um not just uh I know you want to go, but Michelle. I, you know what I mean? I'm surprised that I'm up. I'm usually sleep, girl. I get up with so the you chicken. Want me to stay up cause you want me to stay. Girl, I got to go. I haven't had dinner yet. I've I done been on for good, too. I've been on. I was on Instagram first. Oh, uh, yeah, on. right. I understand. I understand. No, I understand. Dad, I won't be gone too long. I promise. I understand, but you were talking about Miss Tamika Foster. Yeah, she's from the town. You know what I'm saying? It gets it gets gritty. She's a beautiful lady, but she can read for filth and edification. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And she's and she and she's a uh uh she she's she's a woman who she, her house. They say when you see the video. She, they she say everybody is saying her house has good bones. You know what in real estate, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Mm, but so y'all can go to Patreon, find out for me, because they keep saying the house has good bones. Huh? Tamika Foster. Her house. She she got a new house. Like the structure of the house, like the home, the actual the wood, like the what are you talking about? The steel? What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm asking a question. Oh, it's solid. The structure, yeah, you're right, Jasmine. The structure. Oh. So, so the frame, the frame of the house, and the um, oh. no. The reason why I'm asking because I'm getting ready to uh, buy a house, and so you oh. know, this is an educational show for me. I, you know what I mean. But, but anyway, Dude, I'm, this, I'm, I'm, I'm. You a, said this. You said this is an educational <laughs> show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're such a hater, Dre. I don't understand why. No, I was just asking. Pussy Willow, what did you learn over here? I just anyway, asking. thank you so much, Pussy Willow, for what? calling me. You've been a polite friend. Where you get your name from, though, Pussy Willow? That's a flower. That's the name of oh. a flower. Yeah, because oh, yeah. my mama used to have them when I was a little girl, and I was just like, you know, I used to um. I was intrigued about they were they were so different because she has so many plants and green things. I lost my mom um in 2013, but she still lives with me, you know, in my soul forever. But anyway, um uh a put pussy willow is um it's like it's a they're small and it's a bunch of them and but they're long, you know, it's like they're long, you know what a bamboo stem looks like? Mm-hmm. And then you know, have you ever seen a pussy willow? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah. So um what, what's your favorite alcoholic drink? <laughs> okay, so hi, my name is you know what I'm saying, and I do not um engage in those type of activities. Oh. But I used to like um kettle one uh with pineapple juice. Or oh, where, where you originally from? Louisiana. Oh, okay, New Orleans, right? Or Shreveport, or Baton Rouge. How you know? Why you? Why? How you know? You know me. This you is with me. Is that you? Is that you? Right, pussy, pussy no, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with him. I'm just playing with him. I know you are. But um, I, 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 no, y'all. Yeah, um, y'all have a good night. 
And Dre, leave Nene uh, Leakes alone. She's a tall woman. Let me say this before I go. Let she's me say not this a real before. woman. She's a man. She's a tall no, woman. She's a whole and people man. already think that tall women are bullies. They think that when tall women speak up for themselves, that they are being aggressive. We need to not encourage that stereotype. No, I just, like you said, support everybody. I, I would just like Nene Leakes to support Michelle Brown, like Michelle Brown support Nene Leakes. Good night. Good night. Like Michelle, Michelle Brown, right, go right. fly the food. Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. Okay, Nene Leakes wouldn't even Appreciate walk it. across. Good night. Bye, y'all. What'd you say, Dr or what'd you say uh, Jezebel? All right. Well, I appreciate everyone for joining me tonight. This has been an amazing stream, even though the, the, the callers tried to take it somewhere else. Okay. Um, the link is, was pinned, uh, SDS. I'm about to unpin it now because I'm not taking any more calls. Okay. Um, like this video as y'all get in here. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. We will be right over on Patreon tonight for the after show around 11 p.m. I think I need to eat me some dinner. It's nine o'clock right now. So, uh, yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Good night, squad. I have a You're calling degree. in on a show that I'm on. Go to sleep. It's late in Atlanta. Good night.